There is good news tonight in the fight against illiteracy. Thanks to a Conway man, more and more Arkansas children are picking up a book and learning to read. Now, from the station, focus on what's relevant to you and your family. This is KARK 4 News at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Jancy Sheath. Glad to have you along with us this evening. Plus, one Arkansas man is doing his part to fight illiteracy. And the success of his program is drawing more and more volunteers to the cause. His story coming up a little later. This is KARK 4 News at 10. Throughout the past year, we've been telling you about a Conway man who is tackling illiteracy head on. Tonight, we revisit him and find out how his goal to give every child a bookcase is going. KARK 4 News at 10 continues. About a year ago, we brought you the story of a syndicated columnist from Conway who used the proceeds of his own book to build bookcases for underprivileged children in his community. We had the opportunity this week to catch up with Jim Davidson just to see how the project is going. Tonight in Good News Matters, we share with you what's become a successful fight in the war against illiteracy. And so uh, I had just recently learned that 61% of low-income families in our country do not own any books. Spurred into action by startling statistics, Jim Davidson has made it his mission to take on illiteracy, beginning with his own community, Conway, Arkansas. The most important thing in a project like this is getting started. With an idea in mind and the help of the mayor, police chief, and a gamut of willing friends, thus evolved the Bookcase for Every Child program. First thing we did was to have a book drive, and we got in three months' time over 6,000 books. Volunteers then set out to build oak bookcases. We're getting better. <laughs> uh, in about a week's time, we can build about 13 uh, to a day. Really a labor of love. They, they really um, have, have pride in their workmanship. Last November, we were there for the first award ceremony, where 50 area children took home their very own personalized bookcase, complete with a new set of books. For some, the first books they've ever owned. And the first time that we gave the bookcases, we were so excited because one of the mothers, a single mom, had told us, she said, I've been trying to save up enough money to get her daughter a bookcase. And she said, it's the only thing we could use is a cardboard box. Since then, the Literacy Project has taken off with great success. More volunteers jumped on board and 50 more bookcases built, just in time for the project's second award ceremony this past April. And the books give them lots and lots of worlds of opportunity to travel and to, they just really open a lot of doors for the children. Doors are opening as well for the project's creator, whose sights are set on all of Arkansas and with time, the rest of the country. I was up in Paragool, Arkansas last Wednesday, spoke to the Rotary Club, and there's a good chance that they're going to do a bookcase project. Down in Monticello, where you go, where I went to school in my college days, they're interested in doing a bookcase project. In hopes of spreading the word about his mission, Jim has also launched launched a website promoting the campaign with specific instructions on how you too can join in the fight by starting a bookcase for every child in your community. And Jim Davidson wrote the book Learning, Earning and Giving Back mm -hmm. and he is donating 100% of the profits from the sale of his book to this bookcase project. So if you pick up one of these, it goes directly to fight illiteracy. Where does he find the time? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I can only imagine yeah. where he comes up with the glad time. He, glad he has found the time and, and the energy to do all that. And that's a very interesting read. Out of it is. It's an interesting book. Yeah. It's a uh, collection of his columns that he's written. If you'd like to know more about the project or find out how to order one of these books, we have linked the website to ours. Go to kark.com and click on As Seen on 4. Keep the bookcases coming. We're back right after this.